trying to get this girl right in her blanket, but I guess that just might not work out. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and do a little chat with um, baby Zoe. And um, she did, she's still have on her PJs. It's very early in the morning. She got up for early feeding. So it's about five something in the morning. And um, yeah, so she's, she's up. Say I'm up mama. And um, anyway, um, I'm really, really excited guys. I um, got my first work in progress fix of my last baby that's going to be very special and um once i get almost close to her coming home then i will start doing um some series on uh the story behind this baby that i'm having done so hopefully um i can find a creative way to introduce her um, different than the other ways that I've introduced my babies before but who knows sometimes once I get the baby I'm so excited and just ready to show you guys I just show them um but anyway we'll we'll get into that another time um but I wanted to say that I have seen such amazing silicone babies lately um, they're getting so much better and so much better with these silicone babies. Um, the painting it has gotten so much better than when I first started looking at them and wasn't able to afford one, of course. But um, I can see even through pictures that the painting techniques have gotten very close to reborns now. So it's pretty cool. But um, yeah. And I know, like, I get different babies and stuff, and I'll, like, go on and on about certain babies. Like, um, I, like for instance, um, Yasmin is one of my babies. And I don't rave about her as much, but she's, like, one of my, like, most amazing babies in person. Like, she looks super real. And she's a reborn. And, um, but if I talk to her, like, to friends and stuff I'll just go on and on and on and on about you know how beautiful she is it's just because it's not that it's not I don't I always hope that I'm not coming across as if I'm trying to brag about the babies in my collection but I'm just so amazed you know that they look so real in person as well as um as well as pictures and um so I get so excited telling you guys and it's just like when I'm doing the videos, I just keep, you know, saying the same thing. And I know some of you guys are probably like, if she say that one more time, like, you know, with my Claire baby, I'm just so, so shocked at how amazing she is. I don't want to be pulling on her. She got one of my eyelashes was on her. Um, but she's just really an amazing baby and um i've had some great silicones and stuff um some ones that you know on starter beginning level level and stuff and um i just like to give the artists you know their praises and their um credit for being such an amazing artist because it takes a lot if you ever like talk to a silicone artist and listen to the whole process from beginning to to um in on them they take a lot they put a lot into these babies like you know from the minute of sculpting to the making the mold and then the pouring and then the you know the painting and the you know matting and all that stuff is just crazy because when they mat it sometimes it, ch it changes the color on the silicone and all that so for them the end product to come out so well it's really amazing to me and um like i said for zoe to be a lighter baby or caucasian or biracial whatever you want to call her um her skin tones is just amazing like i've never seen a silicone baby ever reach so many depths like she's not thickly painted 
and very 3D um, with the blue undertones and um, I was watching, I want to say, I don't know who channel it was, it was somebody's channel, another collector, and they were saying about how they like when the bottom of the feet and inside the hands are not too red and too pink because sometimes artists will overstate the blushing part and um I love that she is not overly stated like her redness in blushing is very the same as you know a real baby it's just amazing and how she captured the the very new fresh water fresh out the womb hands it drives me bonkers because you guys know I'm such a, um, I'm just such a um, hands and feet person. So, really, really love that. I fell in love with this baby, though. Um, when Kelly had this scope. But, once again, I was thinking she was a bigger baby. And the way she looked in the pictures. But to see her in person, she looks much better in person. Which was a good thing. I'd rather them look better in person than better on pictures. And um, a lot of my babies are like that, like Ja'Cory and Jamari and uh, Paris and stuff. Because um, the camera, sometimes they'll overstate certain areas or something and it'll throw the baby off on camera sometimes. But in person, it'll be just right. But anyway, um, I want to take her out really really take her out today if I can um when I go to the stores I'm thinking about if I can get um what I need to get done very early I'm gonna probably try to take them out take her out with my kids I want to take them um out to the store with me just to get them out the house and stuff we've had a long week um and I know it's kind of personal but um, sometimes I share a little bit of personal stuff on my channel, um, but um, a teenage boy was um, killed that was a friend of one of my uh, kids' um, classmate from school, and um, it was very, very sad for her, and she had to go to a funeral yesterday. So yeah, and then my son, just he's... <laughs> He's been depressed because he washed his iPhone in the washer. And <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but um, I had a long week. Uh, month in is very long for me, um, always, but some months are longer than others because um, I work in, like, you know, with accounting and stuff like that. But anyway, so it's just been a long week, and I just, you know, work starts tomorrow, and I'm just hoping that. I can kind of like relax my kid's mind and get her out and um, I want to take her to see my grandmother but I want to um, also go and um, look for this outfit and so I was thinking mm, I might take her out usually if I have my kids one of them will catch a reaction for me so but if I go by myself it's kind of hard to someone stops you and go, oh, she's so cute. You know, how old is she for me to whip out my camera? Hold up, wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me record. And I repeat that. What did you just say? <laughs> it, it, it just don't work. And, you know, it's like I take my, I've taken my babies out and gotten like the best reaction, but never on camera. And then once you do start recording, it's like almost like you're catching like the middle of it. So, because you don't know that people are going to say anything and a lot of times I've taken them out people have not noticed that they wasn't real but if you the only way you can kind of get a reaction is to tell them is to be like oh when they say oh they're so pretty or oh my gosh she's such a fresh new baby or whatever and you say um oh well she's not real and then you know then you get the reactions and I've lately just been opposed to trying to get reactions because then you also are putting yourself at, you know, risk of attack. Like, why are you doing that? Or, 
you crazy? Do you want a baby really bad or whatever, whatever. And um, so yeah, but Zoe did come at a time that I was really missing the baby stage. And um, I don't want to necessarily start over. Um, I don't want to have another baby. I'm not going to have another baby. I can't have another baby. Um, I just don't want to do that. And so, but, you know, she just really, all of my babies, though, they, they really give me exactly what I love, the best part. I love when they're, you know, small and they're not crying and they're quiet and not constantly pooping in the diaper and um, I love dressing babies and um, you know it's just the best part um, that I get to capture with my dolls a lot of people um, I don't even like to call them dolls but lately I found myself saying it more calling them dolls than babies on camera and stuff I guess I've kind of be fell into that mode of um, feeling like I have to say it so people know that I don't think that they're real or I'm not crazy. Um, I think, I think as much as I would like to say that I'm not affected by what people think, in all honesty, deep down, I think we all a tad bit kind of, you know, kind of cringe or, you know, get some type of feeling of when someone says, oh, you're crazy or you're doing too much. It's just a doll or you're not, you know, oh, you know that baby is not crying. You know that baby this and then it's like, yes, I know that, you know, it's like, leave me alone. Like, <laughs> I'm not crazy. Like, if I was crazy, I wouldn't be able to even afford a doll because I wouldn't even be able to hold a stable job. I would be somewhere, you know, taking meds and not being able to, you know, function. Like, I I know we get it, you know, and we know that our other doll friends get it. But it is something about when someone really, really questions your sanity. And um, it's just such a... For me, it's just such a stress reliever and I guess that's why I've kind of shied away from taking my babies out. Like at first I was like really excited about getting reactions and taking um, them out. Let me see. You want to look at the camera for your aunties? Such a sweet little girl. She has a, such a, see how mama got a big, big old head too. <laughs> It's not really that big though. But um yeah, it's just such a um I lost where I was at. But anyway, but yeah, um I oh I know I was telling you guys, I I've kind of gotten out of taking them out just because I just want to just really enjoy my hobby without having to explain my hobby, so to speak. Um and I have, like, a lot of people that defend my hobby. Like, uh, my mom can be tricky at times. Um, I think, I know she likes the hobby because she actually wants to collect some herself. Um, and she thinks it's cool and she talks about it with her, um, with people and stuff. But I just think that um, sometimes she th wonder if I'm spending too much on particular dolls or whatever and um I do get some family members or friends that feel like because I collect my dolls that I sh I must have a lot of money put away somewhere and then they feel like I should be giving them the money <laughs> I don't know like it's, it's weird so um I don't, know, I, I don't know how I got into this all of this about but for me, I don't want people to take away what makes me so happy. Like, I feel good in my pretend world. I feel good. I used to um, chat on this virtual program, and it was online, and I meet real people, and we chat, and we make houses, and dress each other, you know, dress up, and all that. Um, and it was really, really fun. 
and I really, really liked it. And my mom got into that with me too. And we just like had a whole separate family. And you know, it's like some days you come home and you've had just a long, long day and you just like tune into this other world and you can pretend to be whoever you want to be and, um, or just be yourself. Cause some people can't be themselves sometimes. And I know that sounds crazy, but you're constantly putting up this persona or this, you know, of what people want you to be or how they think you should be. And for me, my dolls give me that comfort. It kind of, when I was collecting dolls, like really collecting dolls, real dolls, like Walmart dolls and stuff, I was from 16 and under. And that was a very great time in my life. There was no bills. There were no other responsibilities. It was just all pretend. I remember I had Patty and um, what was some of the other ones name? I forget, but I remember Patty because um, she was a cabbage patch with red hair. And um, I don't know. And it, it, it's just I come in here and I make my videos and I sit here and hold the babies and talk to, to you guys or to my camera. <laughs> and... I don't know, I just get to be relaxed and just carefree. And even if you guys are talking to the screen saying she's crazy, I don't hear it. And so it just it's just a great outlet. And I don't know if I'm making sense to you guys out there, but um, I've seen some people come into the hobby lately that's very new. And get out very quickly because their family or their friends just give them such a hard time about collecting and or very sensitive subject is people that like can't have kids or have recently lost the baby or something and then they get into reborns then people tell them oh you can't replace the baby with a doll or you know people can say some of the harsh cruelest things like let what's what's wrong with letting someone have some type of happiness or comfort in something other than drugs or pills alcohol um sex violence this is so harmless you know just i just wish that you know people wouldn't do that to others and um I I definitely can see how they could give you that comfort. Um, and I can also see how people can run away from the hobby because they're afraid of being made f to feel like they're crazy. Um, but if you're one of those people, just think about it. This is how I look at it. I look at like people like um, Dana, Silicone Baby, um, Little Loves, um, Hello Melissa Sue, is it? Or like that and Mills. Yeah, I think that's her name. Um, where they have thousands of subscribers. Like I know I looked at Silicone Baby. I think she had over 45,000 subscribers. That means there is at least 40,000 other people that love dolls. And they're not all kids. I know we get a lot of kids too that come across this. I mean, because you definitely will get that because dolls are for kids. And of course, our type of dolls to me are more for adults. Um, but I can definitely see a kid one in one because if I was a kid and saw this and I was really into dolls, I would definitely be begging my mom to get me one. Um, but most of, of the people that are subscribed are, are adults. So we can't be that crazy. <laughs> we can't be that crazy. And um, that was one of the things I kind of showed my guy. And he was like, wow. He's like, oh my God. He was like, I didn't realize that your hobby was so serious. And um, he began to res even respect it even more. I think. For him, like I've said many times before, it's more so of the, of the feeling. And I didn't even realize that I do it when I talked to him. He said, 
he says that when I go to talking about my dolls, I just get so excited and it's just such a happy me he gets to see. And he, so he's all for it. And at one point he questioned the price and stuff like that. But now he's like, he's been trying to guess. I have to say he's been trying to guess how much I paid for Zoe, but I haven't told him. But then sometimes he says, I don't want to know. He, because he's very frugal with his money and he's like I don't want to know I don't want to know he's more practical like he's not the guy that'll go out and buy me roses and chocolates he's the guy that'll go out and buy me new pajamas um a new sofa or something like that he's not you know, a new vacuum cleaner and I don't know something that I need he's like for my birthday he's he went and had my car serviced and uh, renewed my tag and stuff like that like he's not so buying spending a lot of money on dolls it's a stretch for him but I'm just glad that he appreciates you know that it makes me happy and he he's good with that so yeah but um anyway this has just been such a long chat and I don't know if my video is even still recording um, <laughs> but I just I just I don't know, I just had so much to say and just, um, I love chatting videos. Um, sometimes it takes me a while to really get into a real conversation. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? I want to do more feeding videos, but right now I only have one bottle that I trust to give her, which is actually a Sesame Street with Zoe on it. <laughs> Um, and I want to, um, <coughs> I'm sorry. I want to do more bottles, um, that caps off the top until I can get, someone's going to, um, I think is going to try to find me the nipples that like Claire sends with the babies originally that is all, that doesn't have a hole in it. So there's. No worry about the seal being broke. And I'm also looking into the cloth diapers for her that Claire buys, um, sends with her babies too. So um, I've um, contacted the person that sells them and I'm trying to get her some of those cloth diapers. But I love babies and pampers too, so I'm not gonna just completely put on diapers, but um, I think that like at night, I probably, most nights I will probably just put her on a diaper or when I know I'm going to not be able to change her for a while, I'll put her on a cloth diaper. That way she's not just sitting in this diaper. And, you know, sometime, because I know she's not really going to wet, I'll just take her diaper off and she'll just be all free. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, anyway. That is just it. I will come back and chat with you guys later and maybe talk about some other stuff. Um, there are some topics that I want to talk about, but I don't know how to make it where it's not so controversial. So I'm going to try to think about that and I'll be back. Okay. So. Is she going to sleep? Is her eyes closed? Mm, no. Mama baby. Watch her little head just automatically turns for me. See? See, I'm already turned. It doesn't stay turned to the side when you turn her straight. I love that. I love looking in her eyes, too. And she does have a little bit of tear ducts, but um, her eyes are not as widely open, so it's not much. But she does have, I can see where Claire was doing tear ducts with her. Which also gives her some realism. Okay, Pokey, let's go. See you guys on the next video. Ooh.